This episode of The Awesome Hour is brought to you by Concept Beard Co. Put it in your beard. Beard oils and bombs, handcrafted for the discerning gentleman. Go to conceptbeard.com and use awesome at checkout and save yourself 10%. Hey, on today's episode, we're joined by Grady Wallace of Rad Originals. He's back. He really likes us. He wanted to come back and hang out. We're going to hear about his trip to the land of La La, Los Angeles. Hit the drop. Welcome to the Awesome Hour. I am the smartest man alive! This is the source for all the things you didn't or even want to know, including all our bad life choices and mistakes, so you can stay awesome. The Awesome Hour. Hey, how's it going? I'm Alec. Je me fais Ivan. Grady, say what's up. Hey, what's up? Ah, took it right out of your mouth. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> Good, good. Happy to be here. I'm happy you're here. Yeah, it's fun. It's good times. You're all ducked out. You're, all, you're looking Paul Korea circa 04. 04. You know what I'm saying? I have a number four on my back right now. Get the fuck out. <laughs> I'm yeah. on a new level. <laughs> but it's not a good thing. How's yeah. it going, man? Good. It's uh, It's been a crazy last couple of months. Yeah? Um, lots of things have been going on. Good, it's, bad, up and down. It's been a minute you know? since you were on. When were you on? November? December? I, I feel like... It was, I think it was before, because I had my gallery show. I yeah. can't remember if it was before or after that, though. It was during. During? Or before. But it, it was in and around that time. Yes. How'd so, the gallery play out? It was good. Um, big turnout. Yeah. I think it was one of the bigger like gallery turnouts they've had. They even um, extended it. They I even remember. extended it. So yeah. I feel like it was going on when we were talking. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. It must have been like just after. I yeah. think. Um, yeah. Lots of good feedback from the mm-hmm. artwork. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. Yeah. Those neon girls I did were a huge hit. That's awesome. Um, You're gonna dabble in neon again, hopefully. Oh yeah, for sure. That's fun. Yeah. Right? It was. Uh, I think it was like a pretty new style. Like I, I really haven't seen a lot of people incorporate artwork like I did with, with the neon. neon. So, um, well, neon itself is its own like subgenre of art. Exactly. So to take it and play in a new medium is totally rad. Totally. Some might say it was rad originally. It was very originally rad. I'm a question. Smith. What happened to the bear? There's a missing bear from the gallery. In the front. Oh, okay. So the there's a guy out in Tofino that owns a hotel. Yeah. Um, like one of the orange bears is yeah. missing. Yeah. Oh. So he bought one of them. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I'm like, I drove by there the other day, and all I seen was the outline, and I'm like, there's only two bears. What happened? The mystery of the bear. And that was that was you one of your bears? Uh, no. Uh, there's this guy Dean Draver. So okay. He, do you know the Epcor Tower bear? There's I do. Like a big. Yeah. So he did that one as well. Yeah. He did the orange bears. Okay. So the front half of those bears. Yeah. There's also like a behind version. So there's like oh. bear buttons. Those bears weren't that color previously, right? Yeah, they were always... They just got a new paint job, but okay. they were still that neon orange oh, okay, color. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Not, enough, not enough people are talking about bear butts. Bear butts. Bear butts. Some of the nicest butts in the it's animal like a kingdom. Tundra. That bear and like butts. Rafiki. And bear butts. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. Dig it. Anyways, for a Scotsman, you're looking kind of tanned. <laughs> Is there a story behind that, perchance? Because I know it hasn't been warm in Edmonton. You know what? I wish... Yeah, yeah, I went to LA. You, so look at our little you know, Grady. He's, uh, he's making moves. He's making moves. So what's the story behind going to LA? It sounded kind of rushed, kind of like you did a yes man thing where it was like, I'm going to say yes to everything. I mean, I feel like I've just been doing that last couple of years and it's just it's kind of working. like, working. you know, I'm just, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm on the awesome hour for the second time. So <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Thanks man. That felt good. No I problem. needed that. Okay. Um, so you do the gallery. So There's do like- the gallery. Um, well, I kind of started back. Uh, so I met these guys, Forge 53, Jesse yep. and Mike, shout out to them. Um, but I met Mike when I was working on the DOS, the Drunken Ox Sober Cat Mural. Yeah, I think that they're open now. Oh, yeah, they've been open since June, July, something like that. Um, anyways, I was so I was working on that mural and noticed Mike, he was, like, installing these... Um, like shelving units, like where all the plates and the glasses yeah. go. He's probably going to give me a hard time if I don't He'll know get over it. That. They fine. did the tables at Sea Change, too, yeah. out of the old footbridge. Yeah. Those turned out fucking dumb. Um, what else have they done? Like Poppy Barley, a bunch yeah. of other places around the city. Anyways, I ended up buying like Mike pizza that night because I was like, you guys seem cool. Like, Yeah, yeah. you kind of told the story. Yeah. 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 How so, a budding friendship is now flossomed. Exactly. Flossomed? No, blossomed. 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 Um, 
But yeah, we went down to LA. They they had some business to go attend to down so there. So did you just like you were just third wheeling? You were just I like, yeah, just, I'll come. I was just kind of down for the ride for a little bit. That's um, dope. Um, I mean, end goal I think is to eventually have artwork in LA. Who knows? Maybe get some murals. You know, Hell yeah, dude. But I mean, I think you got to go kind of get a feel for things down in that. So yeah, let's let's talk about that. So, so I did you, that. You yeah. beat strep throat. Beast trip through. Oh, that was. <laughs> <laughs> you hop on a plane. Yeah. Now let the adventure begin. So I was following your adventure, like I follow everyone's adventure via yeah. social media, yeah. i.e., fucking Instagram. Yes. And you were having a blast. It was. So give me the timeline. You touch down, and then all of a sudden, you're best friends with Steve Barra. Or does that happen later on? What? Later on. Yeah. Later on. So Mike and I. So there was four of us that went down total. Okay. Um, we kind of split up the trip. So two of us went down, and then two of us met later. Yeah. Um, but it was actually it was actually crazy because. Our flight got canceled on the way to LA, so like the, while you're on so the, the drama was already like starting before. So we get to the airport at like I don't know five in the morning, yeah. something like that, and they're like, "Yeah, so your uh, flight's canceled and you're not flying out till tomorrow." But you're, you've already gone through customs and everything. No, no, no? this okay. was like when we we're trying to get our tickets oh, okay. and stuff, and we're like, um, "No, we need to be in LA today. Like, yeah. We have meetings and stuff." You were that guy. <laughs> I gotta get to LA today. I got meetings with people. Yeah. Run but, industry. But we were like super polite about it and like Of course. Because if you're gonna yell you're not gonna get your way. No. So yeah, this guy hooked us up and we we were there a lot later than I think we were supposed to land in at eleven or yeah, eleven thirty or something like that. And we didn't get in until like six or seven. Well LA so, never sleeps, kinda never like sleeps. New York. So. Exactly. So yeah, the first night was pretty pretty chill. Um, I'm trying to think of what we even did. I think we just got food and just, just kind of hung, hung out. out. Yeah. Um, so you were in Los Angeles. You weren't in like... We were in West Hollywood. Okay, So cool. we were in kind of the... Yeah, the, the cool area. The cool yeah, area. Yeah, you know. Yeah, um, close to Melrose. Yeah, actually, we were just staying just off Melrose in Airbnb. So Dude, that's rad. Cool. Like, you're yeah. already, like, in, like, Hollywood, like... Yeah. <laughs> that's sweet. Did yeah. anyone try to sell you, like, a star map? They're like, hey, you... With See, the white complexion, let me take you on a, <laughs> on a trip to people's homes. No, because we didn't really do anything touristy. We no. tried to do, uh, Mike has a couple friends down there. Yeah. So we kind of like did some more like local stuff and checked out a lot of restaurants. Um, I mean, it was still kind of like a business trip. So yeah. we were trying to like scout out more work things. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'm trying, so yeah. you're an artist and they're they're doing metal work. Yeah, furn- so- furniture design. So, so do the people that they're meeting also translate to people that you could also rub elbows with? Or are you setting up your own? you doing your own side hustle while you're there? I think it was kind of a bit of both. Yeah. Um, I did kind of just want to, like, feel out the town. So I wasn't really, like... It's crazy out it there, It is. Right? It I'm is, like... Big, I'm a big fan of Disneyland. Yeah. So I go to Anaheim quite a bit yeah. to hang out with my good friend Mickey Mouse. There you go. But anyways, that it's like a different planet over there. Like, uh, compared to, like, Edmonton or something, it's... I think that's why I'm almost having a hard time, like... It's thinking about things to talk about because it's, it's hard just, to explain. It is. So let's let's hit the bucket list. You ate at some restaurants. You said we went to we went to Wahlburgers. You gotta go to and Wahlburgers. That was, what? That, was, that was really sick. I'm just troubleshooting over here. <laughs> 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 the the food was unreal. I was actually it was did probably you get a Wahlburger? Yeah. Burger. Was he there? Yes. Nice. So was his brother. Actually, both the brothers were there. They were cardboard, but they're Whatever, still there. Whatever, <laughs> man. That is awesome. That's sweet. Yeah. Uh, but it was really cool because when we were at Wahlburgers, there yeah. was a. F- yeah, Frenchie there, yeah. and it was like Oreo cookie colored. Yeah, like yeah, ice cream. Yeah, and I just kind of like kept staring at this lady's dog. Yeah, and I was like, not creepily at all. Oh, like totally creepily. Yeah, you were a fucking dog, <laughs> yeah, but in like an artist kind of. Yeah, way. in an artist way. I was like, oh, I want to paint you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to paint your dog. So I just like eventually I like made eye contact with her and I was like, yo, you got a really sick dog. I was like, I have a French in back home, and then I showed her the painting that I did with the yeah. Nike shoe, and I was like. Uh, so we started following each other, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, oh, can I commission you to maybe do something? Look I was at like, you, okay, man. Cool. So then we, we parted ways. We got each other's socials and, yeah. and things like that. And then not social. That's the, but that's the business card of 2019. Yeah. It's like, just give me your social insurance number and we'll, yeah. we'll connect yeah. that way. <laughs> <laughs> I am now Grady Wallace. But anyways, I look um, good in heels. Yeah. So I hit her up near one of the last days and I said, let's do a photo shoot. So I went and bought those Nikes that yeah. I was wearing actually. At the front here. door? Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. fresh white yeah. Nikes, man. So I did the photo shoot with the dog and yeah. those Nikes, and then I'm going to do a painting out of that. Dude, nice. So I guess a successful model. So hypothetically, you will have art in L.A. in a matter of whenever the hell you finish it. Yeah. 
Yeah, hopefully. That's awesome. Actually, I've got art in LA right now. There you go. How? So I brought down the Skylon Pup, so my dog with the Nike. Yeah. Um, I brought it to Sean Weatherspoon at round two. What? He wasn't there. Didn't but meet still. him. But still. But I brought down, yeah. Why yeah. the fuck not? I love yeah. your YOLO attitude. You're just like, I don't care. He wasn't uh, yeah. there. He might get it. I yeah. don't know. I don't know. I just left it at one of his shops, and I was like, I went in there like three or four times. Yeah. Because he's got three shops within like a block radius. Okay. yeah. And I, kept, I was like, can you guys get me in contact with Sean? Like, I, I'm here from Canada. Like, yeah. can you hook me up? And then I started unrolling it for one of the employees to show him. Yeah. And when I was at the, like, going through customs and stuff, they made me unroll it. Yeah. And I actually creased the painting. And there oh, was a big rookie crack mistake. On it. I rookie know. mistake. So I went and went to the Montana store in the arts district. Okay, so let's I got... talk the Montana store. Because <laughs> I, I, I fancied myself a graffiti artist for all of two seconds. I was toy as fuck. Yeah. But Montana, what was the Montana store like? Holy fucking balls. Oh, I was just like, I may have had a half chub. Right? Just like walking there. around. <laughs> I was just like, this is this is literally just like Gentleman's an adult boner. Lego. Yeah, it was like a Lego store, but for Did you get paint. some caps? Did you get some like random ass caps and stuff? Or like No, what? only because, well, I did. I did, got a couple, but yeah. I couldn't bring any spray paint home. But no, I bought some spray paint to fix the painting. Yeah. But it was so convenient because I was like, Wow, if this happened at home and I, I was out of that paint, Done. I'd have to order it yeah. from, yeah. yeah, wherever. And, yeah. and in LA, you're just like, oh, I guess I'll go like, to the oh, Montana store. Where they have every single product that yeah. I've ever looked at <laughs> online. That's awesome, dude. So, yeah. What was the vibe like? It was just like, I just want to paint. Right? Like, you just get in there and you're just like inspired as fuck. Yeah. That's it was just awesome. like a rainbow and yeah, it was it was so cool. So where the Montana store was is this place called the container yard okay and there's so many murals around there like a ton of artists that i've been following yeah. for the longest time and it's really cool because i was in vancouver in the summer yeah. and that's definitely a lot more like graffiti orientated yeah but i'm more in that like street artist mural artist kind yeah. of yeah you're more mural just yeah. yeah that's what you do you and, like murals yeah and you're not just, getting up for the sake of getting up yeah exactly exactly and I just recognized all these artists That's so and I just rad, felt dude. like I actually knew what I was talking about down there. Cause I was like, Oh, this is Drew Merritt. This is Tristan Eaton. This yeah. is Carly Ely. Like these are all these people I've been following for a really long time. But what's I'm... nuts is like, you could like actually put your hand on yeah. it, you know, like it's <laughs> real. No, that sounds weird. But like, there's no, a connection and, there. You're like, yeah. that homie was here, yeah. you know? You slap stickers on it. Yeah. <laughs> dude, That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you're, you're rocking this rad original Korea or Jersey, this Anaheim Jersey. Did yeah. you make that for the trip? You're just like, I need to go down looking like I know what's up. No, my girl actually got it for me for Christmas. You got no, birthday spoiled. Christmas? I did. I did. We were talking about that Mighty Ducks starter yeah. jacket you got there. You put a ring on that, sir, because she is like, <laughs> she knows what's up. I'm saying. Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty, That's pretty stoked awesome. about that. So um, I wanted to get this for the uh, design thing I was in in September. Yeah. Um, I just really wanted a Team Rad originals jerseys yeah because i'm all about the jerseys lately yo dude so. but the the colorway is sick i know I, it's I, just I like it's it. ultimate like nostalgia for me like and it's just the, the colors work that like dark purple with like it's just a good yeah. it's a fun base it's a fun I color anyway so you're you're in la you're touching history <laughs> i'm on this trip with you right now yeah. okay so i mean yeah, uh we you're, rode we rode the lime scooters gross um, but anyways no it was great i get it but gross we, we were on santa monica pier doing nice. that stuff so, you know it was just I don't know. Yeah, I just did you like, like while you're on the pier? Did you see any crazy people? We went there both times. I went was that because it's more Venice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But we yeah the times that we went was at like twelve o'clock at night. Yeah, and it was pouring rain when we first got there, and I think it was the second or third night we were there. Yeah, we went out on the pier and it was pouring rain. Gross. And there was nobody there. Yeah, but it was just kind of cool because I was like. No one's out. No one else is here. Yeah, because it's a gross night for everyone else. And yeah, you're, like, you're, Santa, you're in Santa Monica. It's still not snowing, even though <laughs> it's still freezing here. Yeah, that's what everybody's like. Oh, at least you got a break from like the the cold weather. I was like, no, we <laughs> no, didn't. I don't think you understand. It, it's that wet cold. Yeah, it gets yeah. you to the bones. So. Yeah. Yeah. So you posted a picture. You're in front of the Kaw statue. Kaw statue. How does that come about? You just went looking for it, or did you just well, like take a left turn? You're like, oh shit, more amazing uh, street art history. Uh, no, I, I was curious because I was like, is, does Cause have a lot of stuff in LA? Like, I wasn't really sure if he had murals or, like, a lot a lot of his, like, toy sculptures or, yeah. like, in a lot of the shops and things like that. But I was like, I actually want to see some, some I want to see stuff. something, yeah. So I just Googled, like, Cause statue, and that was, like, the only one that came up. But it was right by the YouTube headquarters. Oh, nice. Um, and that was right by Venice. Did you take your lime scooter to it? No, we didn't. <laughs> Good. We, we had our F-150. <laughs> oh, nice. You're like, we're in LA, but we're still Albertans. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Um, so but... how did you end up at the barracks? 
Yeah. But do you skate even? Good fucking or, question. Like, so yeah, it's funny because like I know who like Eric Costin is, and I yeah. think Eric Costin's more like because of the Nikes. I know yeah. him more. Yeah. Steve Barra, I've like more heard of him, but I wasn't like fanboying over yeah, him. Yeah, no, he's still someone important in the skate scene. Totally. He's a very polarizing. Well, I, I didn't person. realize like actually how big he was in the skate scene until yeah. I like, started to like talk to him. Like, but I think go- that was kind of cool because I was I was just myself. Yeah. And when we were like even having lunch with him. People yeah. are coming up. Yeah, because it's being Steve like, Barra. Yo, you're Steve Barra. Like, and freaking out. And he's like, had like a mouthful of burrito. And yeah. He's just like, What's up? Mm, what's up? Yeah, yeah. You know, like. Um, okay, so not only did you just, you didn't just be like, Oh, hey, you're Steve Barra. What's up? We I'm... bought Girl Guide cookies with Steve Barra. Oh, my that's God. Awesome. Dude, that's a YouTube episode of something I would have watched. Yeah, yeah. Girl Guide, girl guide Cookies. Yeah. Steve Barra, girl. And the whole time, like, it's the girls hilarious. are trying to, like, upsell us cookies. Yeah. They're like, if you buy 16, we'll give you one box free. And That's like, not a good deal. He's like, he's like okay. <laughs> so we bought 17 boxes. Uh, he's got that Steve Barrow money. And, and, and actually, yes, yeah, 16 of them were Thin Mints. That's hilarious. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> so, okay, so how do you end up at the barracks? Well, so Steve Barrow lost the keys to the barracks, or he didn't have the keys because so they you, were back okay, in. Okay, Chicago. okay. <laughs> like, there's, there's, this trip was just insane. Like, there's honestly just so much. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> I think you go to the barracks to skate and Steve Barrow is there. But from what no, I'm hearing. No, he got taken to <laughs> the, the barracks. barracks with Steve Barra. We okay. pick Steve Barra up. He's like, yo, just come pick me up outside <laughs> so, my place. So we, how we, does we, how does that happen? How does that For, happen? So For, Forge 53 messaged him. Yeah. And they were just like, yo, like, we're going to be in LA. Let's connect. Yeah. And then we connect, like, Oh, dude. Just, so I, the moral of the story is we're just going to tell them, hey, we're here. Let's connect. We're Honestly, here to connect. like, but that's that's something that's that I've That's what I'm going to do I've for even, new, like, future guests. I'm going to be like, don't come on the show. I'll be like, hey, uh, you're in connect. Edmonton. Let's connect. Yeah. I feel like that's the lingo that's I've like, been missing. Yeah. I think you Not, just gave hey, me the key. But I'll blow you in the bathroom if you come on the show. <laughs> Have you seen Fire Festival, the documentary? Yeah. You're the bottle of water, water oh, yeah. sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm but still. Yeah. I'm So, um,. Well, and, and like he was just kind of telling us about like the arts district in general, like kind of the history, and he was just showing us where like movies were filmed and things That's like cool. that. Um, he so he knew like Sonny, like Skrillex when he well, was yeah. a little kid. He knows a lot of people. Yeah, and so we went to Skrillex's like taco or his half ownership, his ta- gorilla taco. Get, yeah, yeah. Um, that was super cool. Um, but there's just art everywhere down there. Yeah, like it's like you don't have art. So okay, are you are you a, like do you skate? Are you a skate fan? So like you I, you know Lakai and fully flared and all that stuff like those videos are like monumental in the skate community. So I was like, I, was, I love I, how you're hanging out with Steve Barrett. <laughs> it's just like, oh, this is Steve. I'm here to go ride some scooters. <laughs> and I'm thinking like fully flared is like one of the craziest skate videos for production. Like Spike Lee did so, that. So I I mean I grew up as a hockey boy though. So like Fair I didn't really I didn't really was skate. Spike Lee or Spike and I'm Jones. Kind of, I was I was a little bit like uh, Spike Jones just won an Oscar, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, so it was it's Spike, Spike Lee. Lee makes videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Spike Lee. I was a little bit like like not embarrassed, but like I was a little bit nervous because like I don't. No, it's Spike Jones. I Spike don't Lee skate that was. much. Like I've def- I was definitely more mm-hmm. in the longboarding okay, yeah, scene yeah, yeah. and like uh-huh. in the in the summers and stuff. I've got a pool board with like the bigger, the fatter mm-hmm. wheels because I feel like you can't ride. So I mean, I ride skateboards for transportation. Okay. But it's never been like <laughs> to do shit. To, yeah, to yeah, do to sh- try and break yourself. But yeah, I, I don't know. When I was growing up, like that was never what people I kind of hung out with were kind of into. That's that. Yeah, no, that totally that's makes sense. Fair. So yeah, but, I'm just like. But the last couple of years, I've just been like, you know, I really like, want to learn how to skateboard. And so after going to the, the barracks, yeah. I mean, now I've kind of, kind of know like the person were, that like, I know the bear <laughs> of the Eric's. <laughs> Oh, dude. Um, um, when are you going to LA next, bro? I don't know. <laughs> right? Maybe I don't we can know. connect. I only learned how to do a kickflip before I go down there next I time. I can't even, but either. Yeah. I love skate. Uh, I'll be your caddy. I will just, I'll just, like. Just hold my board. Uh, what, uh, what kind of paint do you need, Mr. <laughs> Brady? Uh, it's got some, we've got some jingles to left in the jingle. Dude, so, okay, so you had burrito, like you had tacos with them. That's, uh, yeah. That is nuts. Um, gave him a rad shirt. Yeah. Um, cool. So I have the one jersey. Oh, do you remember the wolf? jersey i do uh he just he loved that jersey isn't it uh la colors it's black white yeah. and gray yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, la yeah. colors yeah. yeah so i was wearing well i gave him a portfolio and he was like oh this is a sweet jersey i was like thanks like that it's jersey is design. dope as fuck thanks you should and also you should have been like i could also do board graphics and then all of a sudden you have like a line of I'm girl fucking, or yeah. like chocolate well i didn't like it was one of those things too where we were just hanging out with him 
But that's even better. I know you weren't you weren't fishing yeah. for a reason. Like, you were just the first time we hung out with him. We hung out with him for like two and a half hours. Did he just say the first time we hung out with him? Yeah, yeah we hung out with him two days in a row. <laughs> Cause yeah, so he didn't have. I the, can't get out of bed he, to go to work. He, he, he didn't have the keys for the barracks. Yeah. So then he had to get, he had to track down the guy with the keys. That's dope. To get into dude. his own place. Yeah. So the next day we got in contact again, and he was like, "Well, do you guys want to go to like we can go to the barracks now?" Yeah. So yeah, there's people skating there, and that's that's very cool. Yeah. Man. There's it's like totally a big dope. Cleon Pierce uh, Peterson uh, mural. He's yeah. the guy that did. He's got a black and white mural. Is it Have Mercy that has it? Like El, like uh, El Cortez uh, on the outside. Yeah, yeah. It's like right yeah. across the street. It's so on the big, it's that big fucker. Yeah. So it's cool because <clears throat> Cleon Peterson was actually one of his first Is he opportunity. The dude from Barcelona. Mm. We're not talking about that guy, the Foxhead person. No, 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 it's no black and white. Guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. It's like these big, like blocky. Yes, that's on the Have Mercy. Yeah, yeah. 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 So Steve Barrow is like one of the first guys to like really give this guy like an opportunity. Yeah. So it was cool because I don't know, like in LA, there's lots of money. Yeah. And I think. The attitude down there is very, if you have an idea, how can we make this happen? Yeah. Rather than like other places where I've noticed it's like, you have an idea. Okay. Well, that's going to be really hard to do. Yeah. And I don't know. Yeah. It's just, everybody wants to be creative down there. Art's a big commodity. Yeah. And people have no problem like sharing the light. That's California. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, oh, you do cool stuff. It's just another reason why I want to go there. (laughs) Yeah. Like honestly. Yeah. Yeah. It was just, it was just so different compared to like what i'm used to even like bc like i mean i grew up there vancouver's like that but yeah. it's just it's on not another, the same it's just on yeah, another level saying, it's yeah. just, dude that is that's really cool like i thought mate like when i saw the thing i was like oh we went to the barracks because you skate and you were just there to like fuck let's go skate the barracks oh, no just, dude no. that's the story is even it's like monumental <laughs> no better. it is yeah. fucking amazing yeah, yeah. but it's like, but it speaks to you. But, that's that's you. You're yeah. just like a genuine fucking dude, and that it really like it plays out. You feel it, like. And I don't mean that in like a weird like I want to paint your dog <laughs> kind of way, like you, you're looking at that lady's dog. Yeah. But just as like you're like you're a genuine person. Well, and it's like my whole point of that trip too is just like I just want to be myself. I'm not gonna try and like. What's the point of being anything else? Yeah. You weren't like, selling a style. You were selling Grady. Yeah. Which is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And if. You know, you can also get a like a feel in conversations too. It's like, okay, you know what? I'm not gonna like push my product right now because it'd just be an awkward time. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of when, like, yeah, like when you just hang out with someone. Yeah. It's like a relationship is so much more important than well, one yeah, sale. Yeah. Yeah, and you see what if you guys would even jive together. Yeah. Like if your ideals even match or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So what you do is you get a blank deck. Yeah. <laughs> do some shit and just send it to them. Yeah. 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 Thanks I mean, for the tour of the barracks. I yeah. made yeah. this for you. Sign yeah. it, and then you're like, yo. <laughs> and then slip Collab? on the mixtape. Yeah. Mix, mix tape. Mix tape? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know why, but I feel like that's the thing you need it's to do. It's just you reading poems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a, a SoundCloud beat on the, yeah. the back of it. <laughs> Dude, I dig it. Yeah. It so was, was, that, was that basically the trip, or is there more? Uh, we went to Comedy Store. Yeah. We Did saw, you catch anyone? Uh, what the fuck was his name again? <laughs> Joe Rogan. No, no it wasn't Joe Rogan. That's what I said the first time. Brian Callen. No. He's bald. Uh, he always rips on people. Yeah. Bald and rips on people. As soon as you say his name, you're going to be like, yeah, that's the fucking dude. No, I don't know. His name. I don't know. I just pulled him up on Instagram. He did. Uh, but we would know him. Mm-hmm. It's so okay. Really that's okay. It was funny? It was funny. He's like really famous. Paul, not Brian Pesane. trying to think no, who frequents insane. the comedy store. Mark Marin. No. Uh, Dave Chappelle. You probably no. remember that. Isn't um, Chappelle doing a huge tour right now? I don't know. He but yeah, he is, and he uh, some people got scammed for some tickets on one of oh, the. Oh, and he hand delivered them. He handled, didn't he? Yeah, they went there and he handled, and he paid for like their dinner, and they got VIP and shit. It was really cool. Nice. Chappelle's he's looking not really a bad rough dude, though. Dude, though. Well, no, he's no, he's getting just, older. He just had a hard, hard time. He broke down and. They yeah. Jeff Ross. Sorry. There you go. Oh, Jeff Ross. Yes, 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 yes that Ross. makes sense. Yeah. that's cool. Oh, oh and it Did was on... funny, you guys. No, okay, oh, okay. So this is this is the funny thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so my buddy Mike and I like went down, and it was just us two at first. Yeah. And we were down there for Valentine's Day. Yeah. And we went to comedy store on <laughs> Valentine's Day. So it was all romantic. couples. Yeah. But I was just like, I was just waiting to be ripped on because yeah. <laughs> it was Valentine's Day, and we were two probably dudes. like. Valentine's. Maybe the only two dudes together, like but sitting there. But you're in California. No, so I know, like... but. But that's, you know, I was just kind of like waiting to be. I mean, if you were here, they'd be like, yo, those fucking two dudes are here (laughs) on fucking Valentine's Day. Uh, 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 uh." But that didn't happen. I did. I did get called out, though. One of the chicks that came on, 
I was I was sitting back with my arms crossed. Uh, she's like, yeah, oh yeah, really? And like, yeah. yeah. She's like, looks like this guy isn't having fun <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> you can know I was laughing yourself. the whole time. Yeah. yeah, I was like, well, now I just feel awkward and I don't know. What do you want me to do with these now? What do you want me to do with these? There's a stick up, a yeah. comedy stick up. But I laughed straight for like two and a half or two hours, oh, something dude. like that. And just to be in the comedy I had a six store. Pack at the end of it, I was so happy. The people yeah, that have like graced that stage. Yeah, yeah man, it was yeah. a trip. Yeah. Um... Food was good. We can't, went to a couple like I'm not I'm not a vegan or anything like no, that. No, but did you have some vegan food? You're like, hey, there, this there is some bad vegan food. <laughs> there there was some places they were like, oh, you gotta check out these places. Like, okay. okay, cool. So we go there and it's like a nice cafe, like looking for food and yeah, it was just, just, just. Do you have anything that's not plant based? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had, like broccoli soup because that was the most normal thing on there. <laughs> you should have stepped out and been like, I I, I wouldn't even know what to get. Like, yeah, I'll have the cactus soup with a side of grass, please. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with a shot of something. I got yeah. nothing. But sweet dude. Um, so you were how long were you down for? A week. A week. Um. Oh, and then did Fairfax. you go check out the LA River? Yes. Well, we drove by it with yeah. Steve Barra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a thing. That's a thing you do now. Yeah. That's a thing you do Sang, now. That's saying yeah. on Steve. My yeah. buddy Steve. Yeah. Just text him on the rag. Um, it was uh, a huge it was really saber. Full, though. It was oh, really was full it? Because they've been getting really rain. rain. It was raining. Yeah. That would make sense. Um, but we went to like Kiff. Yeah. Um, that was a really cool store. Probably Kit. one of the coolest stores I've ever been to. Yeah. Did you shop anywhere? Like, did you pick anything up? Like, go well, to I got, the, I got, end, like, I got the Nikes. Yeah. Um, did they come in like you know when you watch complex sneaker shopping? You probably watch that. You, oh yeah. You like Nikes? Yeah. They yeah. come all like vacuum sealed. Yeah. No. No. The, I wasn't buying that. Rent. Like they weren't that expensive. Gotcha. So they were just still in an orange box. Fair but, enough. Uh, yeah, I went to like round two. I went to Fight Club. I basically went to all the hype stores. Yeah. But it was cool because a lot of the stores down there are designed for an experience yeah rather than places that have like you can you know, buy I mean, stuff there but it also it's you oh, supposed it's like, to visit it yeah but yeah. Like, like the diamond so the diamond store yeah the giant diamond yeah man and it was all reflective and it was <clears throat> probably like super gaudy 16 feet by 16 feet it was just <laughs> yeah. massive and yeah. you could sit in there and you could like look at all your reflections and stuff like yeah. that um, Huff was really cool. They had a big middle finger made out of skate decks. Dude, cool. that thing is amazing. That That's really like cool. a, uh, a Japanese or Korean artist that does that. Okay. And yeah. it was like, I think it was like 300 decks to make that middle finger. Wow. They, did a, they did a whole line of that. Like, Oh, really? There was a bunch of stuff they did for that. Yeah, that Huff is cool. rad. Huff. Um, what else? There was another one that was really cool. There was this uh, apartment 4B store, and it was like, this guy literally designed it like an 80s like ghetto apartment okay and i wonder was, i think i saw that on that thing i was watching that complex on uh yeah netflix it was so it was really cool but like <laughs> there was like plastic cockroaches on the floor and that's awesome there was yeah stuff that's all, totally yeah, yeah there yeah, was like yeah. stuff all over what the did it sell clothing just like streetwear yeah dude their their boutiques in la are really weird it's yeah cool. they're really rad though like yeah. they're really cool yeah it's but i felt i forgot that i was in a store i actually felt like i was in that's someone's cool apartment that's nice there. that's and apartment. then there was just like a little like curtain where you would go like put <laughs> try on stuff shirt. on yeah yeah um did you walk by the supreme store <laughs> so yeah no we so i wanted to go to supreme because i was like you know i've never been and yeah i've got two younger brothers and they're like can you, can you get us a supreme or whatever and i was like yeah sure, you never yeah. want to buy a house well, then, but, but it's also it's cheaper to actually buy it in la you're not paying shipping duties it's actually middleman but shit. it's also i'll say inexpensive if you can buy it from supreme okay you can get it off the drop yeah like a t-shirt's still only like 50 60 bucks yeah that's that's actually affordable for supreme which is no no, different yeah, which is all. no different than any other brand it's like, just the resale that's crazy yeah like you got to think when supreme did the akira line holy shit those shirts are going now for like five to six hundred bucks it's crazy there's yeah. supreme t-shirts that sell for 15 grand <laughs> that's mm-hmm. nuts there's like, supreme like staplers they just throw yeah. their shit on stuff which i think is like really cool what supreme has done over the years i mean it is very hype beast oh now, totally yeah but i mean there's still some things uh one thing that i i've always kind of wanted was yeah. the uh they made the simpson uh motorcycle helmet supreme <clears throat> yeah um but i saw one of those helmets there and i mean they're selling for like probably eight grand like they're, yeah they're stupid expensive yeah, yeah. Um, you should have gone in there and been like hey i'll trade you <laughs> trade you for my artwork <laughs> it's it's, it's actually worth this much <laughs> yeah um but it was actually closed um when we were down there which was kind of a bummer because oh, okay. they were waiting to open up for their spring store okay yeah um else do we go to did you uh, meet any other cool people like any more connections you're yeah, obviously gonna so send down that we, chick's dog you met steve barra but met you, steve barra i tried to meet sean weatherspoon i gave yeah. him a painting yeah 
We're How just... crazy would that be? You're like on Instagram one day and he like posts your like painting. And you're we like, were talking about that before yeah. we were here. We're so like, now the anticipation of waiting. Though. Yeah. So he was going in those stores yeah. before I like he like, he's in Paris now. Yeah. Because I turned like all of his notifications on because yeah. I'm just waiting. But <laughs> I mean, I'm trying not to get my hopes up. I mean, it is what it is. And if he ever the does see it. The fact that even if he does see it, he's like, oh, that's cool. Next. Yeah. You know, like he's yeah. still, you've been in his, you've been in his consciousness. Yeah. So, I mean. Who knows? Maybe down the road, and he like actually notices me, or if yeah. I'm getting working down in LA, yeah. it's like, oh shit! I actually, I've got one of his pieces. Watch you just, just like been... blow up, yeah. and he's like got it in a pile. He's like, oh fuck, where is he? He's like digging through all yeah. this stuff. It's like, where is yeah. this fucking? <laughs> um, the Hundreds was a really really cool store. And was I made it? A, yes, the yeah. Hundreds was probably actually my favorite store I went into. So what was that vibe like? Like the hundreds um, makes cool stuff, but it's very like it's very streetwear, right? Yeah. So like, what was that? Store well, like? they had they had a neon installation there. Yeah. And it was like a big crack in the wall, but then on the in the middle was this big mammoth skeleton. Yeah. And it was all painted black, so it was supposed to be like La Brea tar pits or whatever. Yeah. Um. Well, that's I, actually pretty cool. It was it was super cool. Yeah. Um. And then there was. There was stuff in the rocks, and yeah, you could tell like the mammoth was like trying to climb out. Yeah. And I really want to start making my art into more hands-on stuff. Yeah, like more of a conversation. Not not so much a conversation piece, but a piece. More tactile. Yeah, like yeah. it's a piece. You walk around this thing, and you're yeah. like, oh, shit, that little detail you couldn't see from the left. But now that I've walked around, you can notice it. That's- totally. And I, I feel like there's a lot of people that I've even seen, like even in the gallery, that want to touch my pieces. Because yeah. When you kind of combine that street art or things that you see on the street and then yeah. you put it into a gallery setting, people yeah. are kind of confused about it. And yeah. they're like, oh, I, outside I can touch this, but, but inside, I can't I touch can't. it here, yeah. but I <clears throat> want to touch it. So I want to start making some things um, Dude. that are more hands-on. Um, but yeah, the the hundred store is really cool, and I met this really cool dude uh, down there, and he was actually in charge of their collaborations department. Yeah. So I gave him a portfolio and everything like that. And That's dope. So you were just like you were basically handing out mixtapes, but yeah. portfolios. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I just had a had a handful of my best pieces, and I literally made a little magazine book. It's... I had a centerfold in them. Cause, dude. <sighs> cool. Because why not? I, I mean, yeah, Playboy. So, yeah, dude. Um, didn't go. Didn't see the Playboy Mansion. That's but, fine. Uh, I don't think it holds the same time. merit that it no, used to, you know? It, oh, it was crazy. So we were at a couple of people's houses, and we saw, like, Dan Bazarian, like, wristbands, like, on the tables and stuff. So Dan Bazarian had a huge party while we were down there. Yeah. And we didn't get to go. But. That's okay. <laughs> but you were around people that obviously, you were in the same room that somebody was because they yeah. left their wristband behind. Yeah. But it was just cool because I just felt it was in the middle of the week and I was like, where am I? But Dude, it's like LA, LA. Like, like every day is a weekend. Yeah. It's just, yeah. And we went to some speakeasy. Speakeasy is really cool. Yeah. Um, like you're talking like old timey speakeasies? Like, yeah. Like pop ups, I guess? No. Like, or, you, no. Do you know what a speakeasy is? Yeah. You go and you listen to jazz and you drink and, uh, prohibition liquor. No, a speakeasy is a place that no one talks about. Yeah. You have to know somebody to know somebody. Well, to it's get like into it's, this it's more like for locals. Uh, yeah, like lo- I, now if you would have said locals only, I'm thinking yeah. like that's, yeah. So like you need to know stuff. somebody. Yeah, to, yeah. Like yo, you don't get to skate. The, you don't get to surf the side of the beach because it's locals only. That's a, yeah. yeah, like gotcha. your your spot that you made. That's yeah. like a speakeasy. Gotcha. Yeah. So we went on a Friday night, but we went early. Excuse me. Um, so we got right in. We got in right away. But then the other two guys came down the next night. And we were like, we got to take you to this place. It's a really cool experience. So we get there a little bit later, and there's like a big lineup. Yeah. But the lineup isn't in a line. It's just all everybody's corralled around like the the, the doorway. Ropes. Oh, okay. And um, there's two guys. There's like one bouncer who checks their ID, and then there's the other. Let's call him the picker. Yeah. So after an hour, we kind of clued in that like we're not getting picked. Four dudes aren't getting in. Yeah. To like a club. So you guys went but back to the F-150, no, no, came no, back and dragged. No. Should have. You've been bamboozled, <laughs> bitches. Yeah. How about now? Whoops. <laughs> we all have big beards. <laughs> <laughs> it's European. You wouldn't understand it. Yeah. You're definitely getting in yeah. here, right, Nina. Yeah. Um, but so we were like, okay, we don't have girls. So we were like, I was like, to these two girls, I was like, hey, do you want to just like say you're with us so we can get in? They're like, oh, yeah. So we were right at the front of the ropes. We got these two girls in there. And then David. Yeah. David was like, is it just you two girls? He's like, they're like, yeah. And then they get in. And we're, we're all just like, our jaws just dropped. We're like, Motherfucker. We just played ourselves. Yeah. Like, like, what does What's His Face say on uh, on Complex on the radio or whatever? Uh, was E-Bob in the morning? 
You just played yourself, homie. Whatever. Anyways, moving on. But yeah, it was like it was that. And, and, then, white, and then the, gir- the girls are like, they're really cool though. You should still let still let <laughs> yes, them in. They're going it's like, in. It's like, yeah. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Yeah. yeah, we're just nice Canadians <laughs> down there and just trying to get in. I got but, some maple syrup, eh? <laughs> yeah. But then it was just, we started to learn. It was like, oh, six girls. Yeah. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on yeah. in. And, oh, six girls, three guys. Okay. Yeah. Come on in. <laughs> And then, yeah, so we ended up just uh, shaking hands with, the, uh, with, <laughs> with David, David. <laughs> and uh, we ended up getting in. But the the cool experience is... By shaking hands, did you give him money? That's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't have got in. Yeah. But it was like two hours by the time we like figured that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so when you go up to the like this top room, um, there's this girl and like, have you ever seen uh, Million Ways to Die in the West? Yeah. Yeah. Like that era, she was dressed in like a corset and yeah. stuff like that, and she had money. Old timey like, prostitute. Yeah, yeah. And Old she was West. just sitting on this bed, and she's like, "Oh, I've got two rules, and I can't remember what they are." But then, first rule of like, Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. Exactly, pretty <laughs> much. And then she's like, "Okay, have fun or whatever." And, and then, then the, the bed, no, the bed comes apart, and then you go underneath the bed. That's amazing. It was so so, so cool, we man. Like, and then that's you just so go into rad. this like really old house and. There's an outside and your amazing life is not helping my depression. But keep telling me more. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was very overwhelming. The whole like, there's it just yeah. it sound, dude. I am hella stoked for you. Like that that sounded like a trip. If it's you did, like if you never go on another trip, you will no, always have that trip. trip though. Going another one. That's awesome. So you're going back down, or you're gonna go like check out I'm San like, Fran, or I. The next time I go down there, oh, I also met another really cool um, artist through Forge 53, yeah. Desi Jackson, and shout out to her because that painting that got wrecked because the crease, yeah. we went to her studio and we fixed it. And she was like, for sure, just come in. Yeah. That's so, so dope. We, really? We That's fucking awesome. Like, artists the- helping artists. Yeah. It was great. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, Those next... Forge Boys skate though, so they probably ripped yeah. up at the barracks. Yeah, yeah. they uh, Mike did a kickflip, which was pretty sick. We got a picture <laughs> all of him that matters. Kick flip. All that matters. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, I, I yeah. There's so many little details that I'm sure I'm like forgetting about. But that that's trip, okay. But yeah, it was. That's, it was dude. just unreal. Sweet so. man. So then, <clears throat> so what? That was five days. Seven days. Total? Seven, so you're there for a week. Yeah. You got back last week. Yeah. And then was it right back into the grind? My studio flooded. Get oh, the yeah. fuck out while you were gone. <laughs> The, so I was back on a Wednesday, and I guess Thursday night it yeah. flooded, and yeah. I was going to clean out a bunch of stuff on Friday. Anything get ruined? 86% of my stencils that is destroyed. A, that's way too high of a number. Damn yeah. it, that number is too high, right. Brady! Pretty, pretty much everything from my gallery show, except for the exception from a couple pieces, oh. were all like just submerged So underwater. what does that mean for you then? Now you're going and you're like, okay, I guess I'm never sleeping again. <laughs> no, I, I mean, luckily I did get a lot of paintings out of it. Some of them I needed to make a couple more like additions out of them. Yeah. But, hey... Or were you just like super grady about it and you're like, well, I guess it's a sign and it's time to make some new time shit. Time to make some better shit. Oh, <laughs> dude, yeah, I'm just was... going to call you up and you're going to be like, who is this? You just hear sobbing and be like, oh, it's Alec. <laughs> dude, you're worth it. You're good. Well, one thing I've just really learned, like, uh, so I, I, I told you guys about how I broke the neon. Yeah. Uh, one of the neon girls like two days before the show and I was just like. How can I spin this? Well, how you can, can I... either throw a big fit about it. Yeah. And waste more time. Yeah. Or you can just try and figure out a solution to the problem right away. Man, you are wise beyond your years. <laughs> like I have met grown ass men who don't function I mean, on the same st- level like, as you. Don't get me wrong, like it's still like yeah, it irks panic. you. It irks me, yeah. but I'm just like, you know what? At, there's a certain point where like even that bear with the crown, there was a party at my studio and someone actually got into my area. Thanks and for the invite. Stepped yeah. all, it was eh, No, it's fine, it's cool. No, it's yeah. not hurt. I'm uh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> But someone stepped all over that stencil and just, like, destroyed the stencil. And, like, I wasn't done making uh, that. Like, I wanted to do more of those. You should have had an artist I don't even have one though. for myself. I just sold out of those bears. I don't even have one for myself. Brutal. <sighs> so it's one of those things, like, the, the elk that I just posted on my Instagram. Yeah. That got wrecked. Uh, the horse that I posted got wrecked. Uh, the one with the rad stickers all over her face, that got wrecked. Side note, whoever you had to your party sucks. It was probably just like one. It wasn't even my party. That's what I was. I didn't even go to the party because I didn't want to. Yeah, it just, it wasn't. Did you invite Charlie Murphy and he was like, fuck you, fuck your heart, <laughs> Brady. Fuck your Fuck your heart. stencils. Fuck your stencils. You yeah. my feet up. Fuck your stencils. <laughs> Is your stencils? Yeah. Fuck your stencils. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. A lot so, of Chappelle in the house today. Yeah. Yeah. So, th- yeah. I, 
And you just know. you're like, I don't know, it's done. Yeah. And now I can either dwell on it or move forward. So, but I've, I mean, I've got stuff to keep me busy. Um, that brewery that was, we were talking about last time. Yeah, you're you're um, in the thick of that right now. Yeah. In the thick of it, uh, I just sent my stencils away to get printed. So okay. I'll be working on those coming up here. Um, Growler design, still thinking up of concept for that. So we'll have those. Hopefully soonish. Okay. Um, they should be opening either near the end of this month or early next month. That's okay, sweet. Plan. So I've got to have a 12 foot grizzly bear ready by the end of the month. Yeah, nothing yeah. big. Nothing. Nothing. Just studio. Paper, paper mache. Paper mache. <laughs> paper mache. Do people still do? You still fuck with paper mache? Uh, Not so much. I used to make <laughs> like mean, do the balloon and then make like a helmet. Like <laughs> uh, I'm gazoo, bitches. <laughs> Some fucking yeah. on it. I'm from here, Abu Dhabi. That's not that makes <laughs> sense. No. Abu Dhabi. Okay. That's not where gazoo is from. No, it's not. But I have been dabbling with like paper mock-ups and stuff. Yeah. Uh, that motorbike helmet that I did. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I just cut out paper and like literally like. Yeah, I think we talked preview, about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. preview yeah, on yeah. it before. Yeah. So that's yeah. A lot of cosplayers will mock their stuff. It's like paprika. I think that's a spice, that's a but spice, also yeah. a computer Pe- program that What's it's that like stuff called. It starts with a P. Paprika. That's spices for your food. Maybe. No, paprika. No, but anyway, it's like remember when you were in grade school and the teacher would give you like a flat piece of paper and she was like, make a sil- uh, cylinder. Yeah. And you have like the circles and mm. you do all that. Yeah, yeah. And you bend it at certain stuff. <clears throat> They do that, and then they make it with the foam and stuff, mm-hmm. or fiberglass and stuff. That's I had sick. like a halo helmet at one point oh, sick. that I had started and never finished, oh, yeah. so my wife threw it out. <laughs> Rightfully so. Yeah. <laughs> Two folds in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll get to yeah, it. I'll get right. to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, procrastination. Um, so yeah, studio flooded, but I mean, shit happens. Yeah. Um, do you have to? Okay, you're, that's a loss of revenue at that point. Was like, your studio insured? Like, is there the the really crappy thing about this whole situation yeah. is I wasn't insured. Oh, okay. <laughs> is there insurance you're an, for what paper though? Like, but that's, but that, so that's the thing is like when, when the insurance company if I was to be like oh all my stencils got wrecked they'd be like okay how much is it to replace the paper? I need yeah. four cardboard boxes. Yeah. It's like they really they're only going to replace the value of the paper itself. So you'll yeah. find the most expensive fucking paper there is and say you had a whack load of it. That's what I'd be doing. Yeah, I don't know, but then you got to prove the whack load. No, you don't. Yeah, well, you're gonna call the paper company and be like, "I need a whack load," and they're like, "Well, we don't, we don't deal in whack loads. We we (laughs) dabble." Can I sell you a roll? Yeah, yeah, Yeah. Dunder Mifflin. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) But I don't know. It's like the lost time that I'm just never gonna get back. But But that's okay. I guess moving forward. We were talking about before I got here. I was like, oh, all those pieces value will just go up. Yeah, I'm like, 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 no, but seriously, I literally sold out of like pretty much everything I've made of. So do, you, so do you have any other galleries or anything? Like, we were going to do another show, but we're like 45 nah, minutes we're in going, now. No, we're just flowing, yeah. yeah. Just, great, just, you're great. You're always welcome. Good, yeah. Like, you know, you do, yeah, you want to keep No, no. Oh, no, we're having great. a blast. This is fucking great. <laughs> Tell me what Steve Barris smelled like. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, he's a polarizing figure in the skate world, though. Yeah. Some people see him as like a sellout. Other people see him for what he did, and he like ushered in the street skating era. It's a whole geek thing, but yeah, you were just like eating burritos with them. So your fucking studio, but <laughs> so do you have any? Okay, so you got the mural on the go. Yeah. What are things you? What else is going on? Twenty nineteen just started, and you're I, already crushing. I just got contacted today, actually, for this uh, for the twenty nineteen and potentially twenty twenty uh, triathlon games. Or okay. Like that. To, to do, do like, art. Yeah, to do like art and t-shirts and oh, stuff like that. That's very cool. But, yeah, what's going on with the clothing front? Me and you are going to collab on something, yeah, obviously. Yeah, but we're, yeah. Gonna we're not going to say what, though. Yeah, we're going to do... <laughs> it's going to be a special thing. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so yeah, how's what's going on with the clothing? It's been kind of slow. Um, honestly, I've just been I've just been busy with the art. Um, after the gallery show, though, after the gallery show, kind of was in a weird like artist rut. Yeah. Like I, I thought about something for so long. Yeah. And I was like, all my ideas are kind of out on the table. Yeah. So the last couple of months, I've kind of just been like... Regrouping. Living a little bit. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. i just kind of been hanging out. Getting inspired. Um, doing life. Trying, trying to, yeah, doing life. Mm-hmm. Did you bring anything back from LA with you that you're like, you know what? Like, did you see something? You're like, I want to explore this more. Like, you want to do more, like, pieces. Like, more... There's stuff. I mean, that's that stuff was, like, already on the agenda. Yeah. But it just It, it just kind of, like, confirmed what i wanted to do because yeah. i saw things like that in person yeah um neon is definitely something i really want to like start playing more Dabble with in. but it's just so expensive like yeah. i i need a big budget yeah in order to like make it and yeah i don't know i mean well, it's, if you knew somebody you, that you could always be like okay you you like front it you know yeah. like we'll go into this together and then yeah. when, if it sells we'll do something if not then i'll give you your neon back 
I don't know. <laughs> you see the thing with like the, once you like bend the neon though, it's like no, totally. But like you got yeah. your transistors and stuff too. Like there's more like a yeah, the, those, the, are, the those pricey, are that's the expensive part. That is stupid expensive. Like those are three hundred dollars for exactly. Yeah, it's, like, ha- it's literally half the price. Yeah. So for because for those neon girls, yeah, I had three of those and it was. Were you able to sell those? Like no, so they sell and sold, but. Those, I'm kind of, like, stuck with the price. Like, I don't really want to lower them because I just think they're such a cool piece. And You mean I can't pick them up on Black Friday? No. Darn it. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I can take they're, that off They're $2 browsers. off. <laughs> <laughs> they're more expensive on Black yeah. Friday. Hey, that might be a good idea. No, Fuck legit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Black Everything's Friday just sale. gone up $20. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that. 100 bucks, man. It's Black Friday. Yeah. <laughs> um, but honestly, if they never sell... You're I would okay be with that. Totally okay with that. I will just have a really cool three so, three dripping girls in my. my they're room dope. Going. They're they dope. are dope. They are dope. I don't. I don't but I think I think that it's literally gonna have to go to like the right, the right place. Yeah, and speaking I agree. Of right place. You were talking like you have a collector now. Like you have somebody that seeks out your work and like has a collection. Does that is that flattering and also terrifying at the same breath? Uh, like how, like how so terrifying? Like, what do you like? He, he's going from the perspective of, like this guy's collecting your stuff because he's collecting your stuff and he wants your underwear. Mm. Yeah, I took it to a weird place, but that's the mind state. Yeah. If he really wants it, it's three hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so you you view it as, as, as a collector. You sell your underwear used for a thousand, yeah. sir. Okay, so, okay, okay. Thousand is, signed for. Is it super flattering then? Like, are you hyped? Like, does that make you feel like this guy gets what I'm doing? Yeah, it's sweet. I don't know. It's I. If you like my art, cool. I, I like that you buy it. <laughs> I like, like eating, so keep yeah. buying it. Okay. I cool. mean, yeah. Like I think last time we talked, I'm I'm full time artist. Yeah. Like, I appreciate people who support me, and yeah, it's just cool that there's a hotel in Tofino that has like seven or eight of my pieces now. That's dope. And have you visited this hotel? Like, I haven't. I was actually trying to go there this summer. Yeah. But then some work stuff came up, and then I had to come back home early. Dude, go. Um, you probably get some summer. like like some TV style bullshit. VIP shit. If you well, call, like, yo, I'm the artist that you got all my fucking art in your wall. I'm coming down. So you this, might get free rentals like on that, at least. So this was crazy. Um, my buddy's dad's girlfriend yeah. was in Tofino. Yeah. And then she went to this hotel yeah. and then she talked to my close buddy, Ryan. She's like, oh, I saw this really cool piece down in Tofino. Look at it. Yeah. It was my piece. Cool. Dude, that's some surreal and he was stuff like, there. Oh, what a small world. I was like, nah, bro, I'm just blowing up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was like a little bit awesome. of a, like a humble break. That's awesome. But I was Dude, just like, but you've earned it. Yeah. You've, you've put the time in. That's yeah. dope. Okay, so you've done LA. Yeah. If Grady could hop on a plane right the fuck now, where are you going to get your next Japan. inspiration? Yeah? Nice. Yeah. Why just, haven't you gone yet? Um, Besides the cost of and going it being to Japan. fucking super expensive. I was gonna over say there. like it's really expensive. Every time you hang out with the Forge Boys now, just be like, just drop Japan subtly. Be like, you know where it's blowing up is Japan. Ah. Neon. Like, uh, the, speaking of neon, but yeah. they got rid of all that now. It's all uh, LED. LED. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. it's still they still kept that flavor somehow. It's really yeah. cool the way they did it. Well, yeah. I think. I need to like really like now. I'm really focusing on like my website. I've yeah. just been really slacking at like. What's your website? Radoriginals.ca. Oh my goodness! Stay tuned next week when we hopefully launch it and release a bunch of prints. And I've cool. never done prints before. That's Dope. amazing. So lots of people have been bugging me for prints. You I know did. what I'm bugging you for? Concept Beard Co. Go to <laughs> conceptbeard.com. Use awesome at checkout to save how much, Grady? Ten. Percent. <laughs> at checkout. Concept Beard Co. Put it in your beard. I almost forgot to do that. So thank you for reminding me. Mm-hmm. No um, yeah, so I'm hopefully gonna re- release some prints. The the dogs have everybody has been wanting those. So hopefully that's release, amazing, dude. Your dog Jones. is is more famous than you. Yeah. Like yeah, he is. yeah, you he is. you've done the stuff. That'll the, happen though. That's yeah. exactly what'll happen. Yeah. So he is your muse. I might have to do like a show of just Frenchies and Nikes. That would Frenchies and Nikes. That's yeah. the name of it, man. Yeah. Sounds like my sex tape. Yeah, that's that's kind of weird. Frenchies and Nikes. I'm French. No, I oh. get it, but I just thought of a dog though. <laughs> Do you have like a foot thing? Like you're just into shoes? No, I just wear shoes. Everybody's wearing Nikes. They're all black. The girls wear like high heels in the videos. (laughs) They're all all high tops. Oh, I smell a collaboration. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Dude, it's it's hype. Um, So yeah. So yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like Japan would just be really, really cool. It'd be Um, fun. Yeah. It'd be fun, but I just, I just want to go and work places. I I, I just want to like pack up a bunch of stencils and then just go paint what's murals. stopping you from like entering shows then do you know what i'm saying like i don't know anything about the art world but like would, if there's a show why can't you be like i would like to be considered you I know mean, like art walk 
yeah, like, yeah. You, you apply for it. Like, that's yeah. super low-key, but... I don't think I want to do, like... Yeah, I mean, I guess you have to, like, try to get your foot in the door no matter where kind of thing. Yeah. But what I've really focused on this last year, and I haven't really focused, like, lots of people are like, oh, you could be making so much more money through prints or but through clothing. But that's where you're succeeding is you're not focusing on a dollar sign. You're no, focusing I, on you. I'm trying to, like, build this brand and build my portfolio yeah. so that... Your mixtape. I can literally, like, show people and be like, yo, this is all the stuff I've done and can do. Can uh, Let I, me do it for you i respect that but thank can you side note back up a sec could you call your portfolio your mixtape yes it's now called my mixtape thank you that's a great idea it's your art put it tape. in a giant tape a or something or just like they, write mixtape on it idea. Right? and they open it I'm and it's fucking oh dude it's yours seriously no literally in because the 90s no, it's a rad so... mixtape and when they open it it's just your fucking the shit no no it won't even be that it'll be an actual cd with all the oh my god that's all amazing. your art and shit yeah that's dude. great, dude. That's a great idea. Yes. Just got to find an old CD book somewhere. Man, make that'd it. be so much fun. Okay, everybody forget that last 30 <laughs> we seconds. Can, we can edit that <laughs> out. We can edit that out. <laughs> but yo, the 90s are so yeah, hot right yeah, that'd now. Be, that'd you be a really cool like... way, and people would actually have to find like a DVD player. Or, right, like, or something. Or put like, it in a fucking, your computer. No, but like computers don't even have CD players anymore. I know, right? Like this oh. one has one, but it... The tower, the big tower. But also yeah. have like a, a card yeah, or something that yeah. inside the mixtape that has yeah. like your website, yeah. your newly designed website. Yeah. Dude, that'd be that'd be pretty I'm, cool. There you go. That's awesome. Yeah, I definitely think you. Have should. you done cars? Like, have you spray painted anything on cars or anything? I've done car doors. Car doors. Um, yeah, I'm talking, talking hoods. like a whole. Remember, you did the owl. Remember, we had Harpy that argument. Eagle. That's right. Harpy Eagle. Yeah. Oh, I said it was a ram. Never mind. Yes, you too. Yeah, you're totally yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, but like doing like your girl one, like crazy drippy one, girl style shit. One of my goals for this year was to try and paint an exotic car. But that costs money, so you should get a non-exotic some, no, car. Dude, you, these rich dudes will do some crazy fucking shit on like, their cars. So, like, especially know. if it's like if, art. No, but what if they wrapped it first, was, let him do his thing, yeah, and dude, then they like, peel it off? That's, that's, what, what, I, that's what I was thinking about. Yeah, yeah I like because it. then like even if I painted like a Porsche 911 and you wrapped it first, yeah. even if you don't like it's it, it's not going to get damaged. Later, yeah. Yeah. But I think it'd just be so cool to paint. Or you could etch it with like, you know, just like yeah, a key. Right in I there. know some dudes that yeah. uh, travel <laughs> in high end car on groups. It. Yeah. So <laughs> if you want to, yeah, um, that's, that is something I really, I really want to, uh, I don't know. Like last year I did like the motorbike. Mm -hmm. That was cool. The year before I did like a car door, I'm just always trying to like top the last like yeah, the previous yeah. year. So. Like I legit see your work, like the drippy girls on like a fucking uh, the hood of a fucking Lambo or some shit. Yeah. Like legit, that's yeah. what I see when I yeah. when I see your work. With yeah. like some, I think it'd be great. <clears throat> some like underlighting to incorporate the neon. So you yeah. put it on a hood, but then you just pop. No, but listen to this. Down. <laughs> no, but listen to this. You pop the hood and you just have like a the strip glow. of like LEDs or something. Yeah. So you still get the girl glow. Do you know what would be unreal? Hmm. Is if you bought another hood, and you actually see and see. The like the drips, like I did. Yep. Oh, and then you had it under glow, and it would actually like glow. Yeah, and but I don't like think you understand head. how like OEM parts work, though. <laughs> like, I could do. I've done it. I've done crazy shit like that. Yeah. Not glowing like that, but I've yeah. cut. For a Lambo, that'd be fucking hella expensive. But, but it'd be dope as shit. No, it'd be fucking. But awesome. that's what I mean. Like, reach out to Bam Margera. That guy throws mm, money around, yeah. and he's losing his and mind. And he's on a fucking trip right now. <laughs> like, yeah, let's cut hey, another Bam. hole in it. Bam, that's if you're crazy. listening. <laughs> And he's, <laughs> you can contact him. Yeah, and he's into yeah. art. So yeah. like. Let's connect, as yeah. they say. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think that'd be, yeah, a high-end car I think would be really cool. I, or I've always wanted to do, like, an old-school, like, Porsche 911. That'd be dope. Like, a 70s one. Dude, yeah, 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 as, yeah. like, a yeah. old-school hockey boy, you should reach out to the Oilers, man. Yeah. Do something for, like, them. Like, uh, what's, Gretzky's got that Studio 99. Mm, does like, he? Like, dude, it's in yeah. Rex, or it's in Rogers. It's, like, a hoity-toity little, like, lounge bar thing. Oh. You could do like a stencil neon Gretzky would be, be fucking. You should do a fucking dope. A neon his fucking statue that they have of him holding the cup. The the only thing I'm like kind of running into in, as an issue right now is money. That, no. <laughs> but no, literally, it's like I've got cool ideas, but it's just like I can't really afford to like n like not get paid for something yeah. and yeah. then like buy all this neon like yeah so it's just i mean that's when it's cool to start when you start getting a fan or like collectors because then Got a little bit of bankroll you know then they but that's where these mock-ups we were talking about that thing yeah. where you're like oh i'm gonna do this first and then maybe do this yeah if i can find somebody yeah but if you came to them with that idea and the work already there yeah i'm sure but that would be really cool it's like could you imagine being that hockey boy and being like oh yeah i got art rogers like whatever that would be dope 
Steve Barra. <laughs> <laughs> if you, uh, yeah, I, I think this year, I don't know if this year, I haven't really figured out what 2019 is going to be like for me. I thought it would be a super killer year with a lot of projects, but I think it might be almost a year of planning for 2020. But I don't even feel like you, I, I feel like you plan. But I also feel like this sounds cliche and stupid, yeah. but I also feel like the universe is just like, hey, yo, that's cool that you wanted to do that. But hey, have you checked this out? Yeah. yeah. And like, you know, like, oh, your studio flooded. So maybe you should try this now. You yeah. know, like. Yeah. That's actually, what I was going to yeah. say. But like, it, it's a blessing and a curse that your studio yeah. flooded. Yeah. See, and I. It flooded because, Grady, you're fluid. Ooh. You just go with that's it. That's another fucking Ooh. plane. Anyways. <laughs> or maybe I just need to practice swimming lessons or something <laughs> <It's telling laughs> you, you better be able to swim in next one because yeah. we had don't a fucking your, earthquake yeah. in red deer yeah yeah don't yeah. get your tea leaves red because oh the world's ending. god yeah um yeah i don't know we'll, we'll kind of i'm just kind of taking it day by day right now i'm Stand really excited for this brewery day. thing oh when um, does that open yeah i think beginning of next month sweet man that um, oh, where's that located right behind the uh old air or the airport yeah museum the bland- okay yeah yeah like the Blanchard, soon to be in Blanchard. There? It's like just behind it. There's like a little strip. Yeah, it used to be Stars Air Ambulance back it's kind there. Kind of a weird place for a spot. Well, they're but... developing across the street, so I yeah. think that's that's it's the right plan. behind the Métis. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and then the gallery I'm with, I can't remember if we talked about this last time, but they're opening up a dispensary. You were, you were, uh, you hinted at it. It wasn't 100. Yeah. percent They were. So they're they're going ahead. I know there's been like the hold on a lot of stuff like that. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I'll be doing a mural for them. Eventually cool. Very as well. cool. Very but cool. They really want the neon, so we'll have to see. Uh, a nice bright green neon. Yeah. I got a neon hookup if you need somebody, but it, I I also know you have somebody. So. Yeah. Sounds good. Well, Grady, it's coming to the, the end of the show. We didn't even get into the show that I prepared, no. which is even better because it means you're interesting as fuck and I had a great time. Sweet. Thanks for getting me out of bed this morning, Grady. No problem. Um, where can we find you? Get Plug everything and anything. Uh, right now, Instagram's just the best. I'm usually on that the most. Um, G underscore Rad Originals. Um, website, like I said, will be launched hopefully in a week at uh, radoriginals.ca. Beautiful. And I don't really mess with Facebook because... Old people and racists. It's old people, yeah. And Should do collaboration with the that yellow vests. That is why I fu- fuck those yellow vests. <laughs> That's why I fucking just scrub all that shit. Well, yeah. Grady, buddy, friend, pal, homie, you've always got a chair whenever you want to come on and just shoot the shit. Awesome. You're more than welcome to come hang out. Thank you so much. Make sure you go to Concept Beard Co. at conceptbeardco.com. Use promo code AWESOME at checkout to save 10%. Um, you'll be hearing that for another year. Big ups to Mike. He likes yep. what we do. And we're going to do him proud. Um, we'll be back at you next week with another Sometime. podcast, hopefully. I'm Alex. Jim <laughs> <laughs> Ivan. Stay awesome. That was another episode of The Awesome Hour. You can get all our info at theawesomehour.com. Don't forget to rate and review us, follow our social media, and leave a comment below. Stay awesome.